right, so we're entering Grenada, Mississippi. Looks like immediately over here on the right, we got a little business, Hawaiian shaved ice that I'm sure opens up in the summertime. Over here looks like a car wash that closed down and uh, sports and billiards and I think Freelon is like a barber shop so I'm gonna make a right right here on South Street Got a car behind me, so I gotta speed up a little bit. They're not gonna let me be great out here. <laughs> Let's go check out some um, some of the neighborhood. Now I I know because I've been to Grenada before. I already know what to expect in some of these areas. So I'm not just going to show all like the ugly side. You know, you got to have the good too. You got to have the good and the ugly. So, I am new to creating this type of content. This is like my fourth video. I've never recorded houses that look um, like the ones that you're seeing right now. They're kind of in a poor state if we can be realistic about it. I, however, do not like to be disrespectful towards people where they live and things like that, where they're from. That is not my intentions in any of the videos that I make. Um, these are realistic views. This is how some people live and you know we don't know if someone is in those homes or not but there will be other videos that i create where there will be big beautiful homes so it won't be just one or the other um life is full of like like the title says the good the bad and the ugly and this in any town that you go to not just these mississippi towns that i've been doing that's the interesting thing about life the variety of everything now of course just being like in a poor area um being in a poor situation i'm pretty sure does not feel good but just the variety of life is is what we get to view out here in this world Now, there's a funeral home over here to my left. I think it's Clark Williams. But, um, yeah, we're going to go up here. I'm going to get back in the right lane, make a right, and we're going to go back to where we started on that particular street.
So the population for Grenada, Mississippi is 12,021 according to this online source. Aside from that, I'm pretty sure the towns that I've already recorded would look much nicer if it was in the summertime. You know, wintertime makes everything look lifeless. So the big building that you're seeing over here on the right, that's Regions Bank. And across the street is going to be like a little place where I guess people have different businesses. We're going to go off in there first and then we'll come back across the street. Now, I know this is not on Front Street, but you know how in some of the towns, the buildings look old and run down and, and just they will place a business inside of a place that don't even look like it should be standing. Well, I would say if they were to knock all of that down, they could, you know, uh, make it more up to date like this building right here. I actually like this. The clock, it, it's a little, it's, it's unique. So other places can take a page out of Grenada, Mississippi's book by updating their buildings. Now, I know all of the buildings in Grenada are not like this, but this is nice. Especially this one, the gift box. So like I just mentioned a little earlier, we're gonna go across the street. That right there is the post office. And up here is Kirk Auto Sales on the right. Across the street over there, that's OYO Hotel. I don't ever really see too many people there, but that is what that is. And let's go on up. Oh, beside the hotel over there across the street is Pizza Inn. There's a car lot. We're just going to keep on cruising up through here to see what we can see. Now Shoney's over here is no longer in business. I'm not sure what happened with that. Seemed like it should have been successful, especially in this area right here. Seems like this is where everybody shops on this entire street. They have all kinds of stores and things, so I'm not sure why they are not open. Got some hotels over here to the right. What I'm getting ready to show on this side is a bunch of empty buildings, 
but the hotels are oh my god they are something different i've already seen them and so my intention is not to say okay this is part of grenada and this part is just horrible part of grenada no this i personally find this interesting like like i said i come to grenada but i've never actually been over here to see all that i'm seeing so a lot of things that i'm showing y'all is, is new to me like I, I had no idea it was a hotel over here that was abandoned and looked like this you know you got the yellow caution tape don't come over here okay don't worry about it we just ride through and we don't get on back up out of here because i don't want anything from here because they do have things still in these rooms but it definitely i don't care what's in there i don't want it <laughs> not at all So we're going to go on down here and check out two more. The next one it used to be called Relax Inn and it's no longer in business. It looked like it turned into a dead end. But um, seems like somebody just ramshacked the whole thing. As you can see, it was gloom and doom. Now it just, you know, turned out to be a beautiful day. And this clip right here, I had to insert this one because I recorded this one on a different day. But um it's the same little setup nothing has changed it's in the same area and also on this day it looks much cleaner so on video it looks better in person it looks horrible i mean it looks horrible now too but in person it looks worse Y'all, this is like something out of a movie. <laughs> like, they just abandoned the place. Maybe zombies overran the place, which I think. <laughs> so, there's a big back black TV in there. Um, mattresses thrown everywhere. Trash everywhere. Hmm. That window is busted. A lot of them are busted. You probably can't tell on the camera, but they are. So I wanted to get out and go show show you all one of the rooms, but I don't know. I'm not sure. Something may just pop up out of there. I said, no, maybe next time. I'm not feeling too brave on today. And I'm glad I didn't because you see the guy right here. He's coming up. I'm not sure where he came from, but he just, again, he's he popped up out of nowhere. Like, where are you going, fella? So this is the third one, and it looks like it was gutted out by the city or maybe somebody, some workers. I'm not sure why they just kind of left it like that, but it used to be called the Knight's Inn. I remember it being here. And then the one behind it, that one uh, was called Budget Inn, and they both look about the same. So, yeah. So, I'm getting ready to go across the street, and it's very busy over there so i'm going to show you all from this side and then i'll ride over there but right now we're looking at applebee's and if you can see the little blue up above it that's walmart up there um there's a bank right there and then next to it is zaxby's 
and then you have Taco Bell. Zaxby's, Taco Bell, and then up above that you got a lot of little, um, places to shop and stuff like that. We're gonna ride up the hill and I will show you all gas stations are down there. Then you have a barbecue place right there. Okay, so let's ride over there and see what's going on. So you got a hotel there, you got another one beside it. We're on the back side of the stores. We're gonna loop around to the front so we can see what's going on around there. So it looks like some gas stations and a couple of restaurants are on my right. And let's see what else is over here. Oh, No Way Jose. A lot of people go there to eat. I've eaten there once. It was pretty good. And there's that pizza inn that I was talking about and also the hotel. So the weather is about to get bad on me, y'all. I still try to record to the end. <laughs> I didn't want to just show just all the bad or just stop in the middle so i wanted to continue even though it started to rain so yeah the quality of this the ending of this video may not be the best but we're gonna do the best we can So that's where I just came from, across the street. There's Captain D's over there also. Okay, CVS Pharmacy down the hill right there. And then we're gonna circle around and see what's in this parking lot. Bingo. So I came on a little further. They got a movie theater over here. And that's what those people are coming out of. 
There's a Chinese restaurant right there. Pool hall. All around the corner. Alright. That is the town's famous Spain. Everybody from other towns even come here. My apologies for the quick shut off, but the weather got bad. I had to get out of town. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.